Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another brand new model. This is a special edition KLM Royal Dutch Airlines 95 years Triple Seven 200 ER in a special edition. They only made so many of these folks. Um, this is one of three special edition KLM models that's coming. There's the Triple Seven 300 ER is coming in this version, and then there's the 747 400 that's coming in this version as well in flights already in flight J Fox has already did their version it's already out but I decided to wait on JC wings to do theirs but uh, it's a pretty interesting model I'm gonna go into the details of the, the corporation how this 95 years came about all right KLM Royal Dutch Airlines was founded on October 7 1919 KLM is the national flag carrier airline of the Netherlands. KLM Royal Dutch Airlines headquarters is located in Amstelveen, which is a suburban part of the metropolitan area of Amsterdam. KLM Royal Dutch Airlines main hub of operations is located at Amsterdam Airport Schiphol in Amsterdam. KLM Royal Dutch Airlines operates scheduled and passenger and cargo services to more than 130 destinations worldwide. As of 2015, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines is the oldest airline in the world still operating on its original name when the airline began operations on October 7, 1919. As of 2015, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines still remains a four-star airline carrier according to Skytrax magazine. Okay, you see this box here. They only made so many of these folks. It's only three versions. You probably need to get your hands on all of them if you can. Um, this is a really awesome model. I'm just going to the box, then the stand, the gear replacement, then going to the details of the model. This is going to be one of those little educational type uh, model videos there's too much detail on this to go in details okay so here we go okay now I'm going to show you the top of it here we go okay folks that's the top of the box that's one I'm gonna show you, okay? All right. And I'm gonna show you the bottom of the box. Here we go. Okay, everybody, that's the bottom of the box. This is the triple seven three hundred ER. That one's be coming like at the end of the month. Uh, I'm waiting on that one as well. So there you have it. And then also there's the seven forty seven four hundred coming at that as well. Okay. So here we go. This is the back of the box. Well, uh, nothing really spectacular on the back of the box. Nothing there. That's what you see there. That's it. And then you got the stand right here. All right. That's the custom stand. That's the pad that came with it. All right. Put that back there. And then there's the gear replacements. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. And now I'm going to turn this box back around, okay? Okay, now you saw the box, the detail of the box, the stand, and the gear replacement. Now here comes the model. There you go, folks. JC Wings KLM 777-200ER, the 95 years special edition, okay? Now, this is a beauty here, folks. This is the second KLM Triple Seven that I got. The first one's from Gemini Jets, which came out last year. It's done pretty well. So, with that said, I'm getting ready to go into the details with the, uh, the logos and all that stuff, and the aircraft and the seat and all that stuff. So, here we go. Okay, the Sky Team. Okay, let me get there. The Sky Team. All right, KLM joined the Sky Team Alliance on September 
13, 2004, which consists of 20 carriers from five continents, including Air France, Delta, Korean Air, Aero Mexico, El Italia, Saudi Arabian Airlines, China Airlines, China Southern, Garuda Indonesia, Vietnam Airlines, Kenya Airways, some other heavy here. Sorry about that, folks. And then, um, Borrow Budur, Borrow du Borrow Budur, Borrow du Borrow du Borrow du Borrow du Borrow du Sorry about that, folks. Borrow Budur. Now, what is Borrow Budur? It is a 9th century Mahayana Buddhist temple that is located in Maglang, Central Java, Indonesia. Boro Budor Temple is the largest Buddhist monument in the world ever built. The construction of the Boro Budor Buddhist Temple took 75 years to build. Okay, right there. And was completed in 825 AD during the reign of Samara Tunga. Okay, that's what that is. That's a Buddhist temple, folks. And then the Air France KLM uh, title there. KLM merged with Air France on May 5, 2004 and formed the Air France KLM Alliance, which is incorporated under French law, which is headquarters uh, located in Paris, France. However, despite the merger between the two carriers, KLM still continued to fly under their distinct brand name and entity. Okay? And then you see the uh, KLM title there and the uh, crown there. That Royal Crown stands for Royal Charter Status. Okay? You see the Royal Dutch Airline right there, folks. Okay? And then at 95 years, okay, that decal there, the 95 years decal. Well, the 95 year decal was commemorated on this aircraft when KLM Royal Dutch Airlines reached a prestigious milestone when the airline celebrated their 95th anniversary on October 7, 2014, which was last year. Okay? The 95 years decal was first put on the MD 11 before KLM retired that aircraft on November 11, 2014. This decal is now seen on most of KLM's 777-300 ERs, Boeing 747-400s, 747 combines, and the A330s, okay? And then there's the uh, wing light there. And then the engine right here, there's the KLM logo here. This is a GE90-94B engine. Pretty cool. That's the engine there with the KLM logo there. And then there's the red navigation light right there. Okay. And then the registration number PH-BQB. That air, this aircraft you're looking at, folks, was delivered to KLM Royal Dutch Airlines on November 7, 2003. This aircraft right here is you looking at, folks. It was delivered to KLM on November 7, 2003. Okay. Then you see the uh, the Netherlands flag. Okay. Then you see the European Union flag. And then you see the Boeing 777. See the Flying Dutchman there. And then you see the uh, KLM uh, uh, logo there, which stands for Royal Charter Status. That crown there is Royal Charter Status. All right. And then you see the uh, APU with the uh, strobe light right there. The strobe light right there. Cool. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it around real quick. This is the back of the airplane there. Very cool. Now I'm going to start from the front of the plane again. Okay, there's the Sky Team uh, logo. Boro Budor. I told you what that was. 
the Air France uh, KLM title. There's the KLM uh, title on the uh, fuselage. Royal Dutch Airlines on the uh, front cargo container door. And then there's the uh, wing light right there, landing light right there. There's the KLM logo on the uh, GE 90-94B engine. There's the gears right there. There's the green navigation light right there, folks. And then there's the uh, rear cargo container door right there. Then you see the title right there. Then you see the bolt bin door right there, folks. Okay. Then you see the registration number, PH-BQB. Then there's the Netherlands flag. And then there's the European Union flag. And then once you see the uh, KLM logo right there, folks. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this back around. All right. Okay, now I'm going to show you the engines right there. Same on this side here. Okay. I'm going to show you the top of the aircraft. Okay, you see the beacon light, the anti-collision beacon light there. There's the antenna there. The two little thing there. That's the SATCOM, the little hum for internet and Wi-Fi mobile usage. And then there's the two antennas there. And then you see right there. Okay. Now I'm going to show you from the, from the back angle. Here we go. Okay, this is from the back angle. Now I'm going to show you coming front now. Okay. That's the wing it. Okay. There. See the little two dots there? Them the luminaire lights to light up the tail here at night when it flies at night. Same on this side as well. Okay. And I'm gonna turn that back around here. Okay. All right. The KLM Royal Dutch Airline currently operates 15 777 200 ERs in their fleet. The KLM Royal Dutch Airlines 777-200ER seats 318 passengers in a three-class configuration. Okay, from here, I'm going to tell you right now. Let me go up here a little closer. Okay, from here, it's about right there. It's 35 world business class wide flatbed seats. That's one to five. It's one to five, okay? And then from here to about right here, it's 34 economy comfort seats, okay? From here to here is 34 economy comfort seats. And then from this section all the way back to the rear of the aircraft is 249 economy seats. That makes it 318, all right? KLM Royal Dutch Airline currently employs their 777-200ERs on routes from Amsterdam to Accra, Ghana, Atlanta, Georgia, Bangkok, Thailand, Bonaire, Cairo, Egypt, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Cape Town, South Africa, Dubai, Fukuoka, Japan, Hangzhou, China, Johannesburg, South Africa, Lima, Peru, New York, JFK, Panama City, Panama, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Xiamen, China, Bogota, Colombia, Cali, Colombia, Manila, Taipei, Taiwan, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Denpasar, Singapore, Quito, and Guayaquil. All right, those are the destinations. Okay. So with that said, I'm getting ready to show you the bottom of the fuselage. So here we go. This is the gears right there. Front gear there. 
There's the uh, anti-collision light right there. There's the gears right there, folks. Gears, they do tilt. There's the hole where the stand goes in at. The two antennas there. There's the APU housing right there, folks. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on the stand. Here we go. Okay, this is the stand, folks. And that's the padded stand, so you ain't going to worry about your uh, gears. Uh, your plane messing up, alright? So here we go. Okay, there you go. That's still there. Alright, there you go. There it is on the stand right there, folks. Alright. Now I'm going to turn it towards in another angle. Alright. Okay, here you see it in this angle. Alright. Now I'm going to turn it in another angle. Okay, it's in this angle. In the takeoff angle. Alright. Alright, next angle. Okay, it's in the takeoff end going in, in the west direction. Okay, there you go. Now you see it in this direction. Alright, this angle. Okay, now I'm going to take the gears off. I'm not going to take them all off. Alright, take, take a few of them off. Then you get the idea. Okay, start right here. Okay, there's the gears right there. And right there, okay, there's the gears right there, all right? They are retractable. All right, and then I'm gonna put this back on here. Okay, before I do that, these are the gear replacements. You can uh, substitute with the plane. You can fly them with or without the gears, okay? Choose to leave mine on, so I'm gonna put this back up here. Okay. There you go. I'm going to take this thing off the stand for a second, all right? Oh, okay. I forgot to show you all the front of the airplane, okay? Let me get this focus. Okay, you see the top of the air QB? OB. Oh, yeah, that's QB, okay? Then you see the windshield wiper in the cockpit windows there, pretty cool. Then the gear lights right there, pretty cool, alright. Okay. Well folks, this is all I have for this model. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope this video review helped you uh, make a prompt decision. Is this something you want to have for your collection? Because I'm going to tell you, most KLMs, they sell out pretty quickly. They start off slowly, but they end up catching a lot of people off guard. And this is one you don't want to sleep on because this is a very special model. You know, that's pretty awesome. That's a milestone, 95 years. You know, think about it. How many uh, airlines live on companies still around after 95 years? Go figure on that one, okay? Please rate and subscribe and leave me your comments and suggestions. What I can do to improve my video quality. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take care. God bless. All right?